everyone, it's Shane from Hanlon's for another Maintenance Monday. Today we're going to continue on with our operational series as far as the monitors and the terminal in the Fent Rogator sprayers. So when we get to the field and we're getting ready to spray, the first thing we need to do is we need to turn our roading switch off. That enables all the electronics and the hydraulics for any of the boom system to be used. Um, then when we're sitting stationary, we're going to push and hold this button. Um, you'll see the, the red light lights up as you're holding it. Um, that's your boom fold. So it'll fold the tips out, take the main booms out of the cradle, extend the wings out, lower them down to where they're level, and then take the center rack down to where it's ready to spray. The next thing we need to do is put on our main sump valve. We need to turn our pump on. We need to turn our master spray valve on and we need to put our recirculation on. That will get everything going in the liquid system that we're ready to go that way. Um, if you want to increase your agitation, of course, we'll use these two buttons and we'll get going that way. Then we move up to our Viper 4. We hit start job. We're going to ignore that. That's just a, it comes up because we haven't moved the sprayer yet. Um, you can see it names it date and time. If you want that as a specific name, you touch that, it'll bring up a menu. You can enter a name in there. Uh, we pick our guidance pattern that we want. We pick if we want to have some kind of a scout file in there. Um, we put our rate in. So here we'll put five gallons in and then we're going to start our job and it will load our job up for us and take us to our spray screen. Uh, first thing we need to do in there is we're going to push and hold the icon for the boom height control. So then we're going to turn the, the power button on. Of course, it won't allow us to do that because we're sitting with the engine not running in the yard. But you put your master power on on your opti height and then select your three sections so that it engages the sensors. Um, then the boom will lower down and you're ready to go there. Um, you will hold your rate icon. You can see your rate. We hit it to on. Of course it shuts off but we hit it to on then you're ready to go spraying last thing you need to do is you need to hit your guidance decide which which pattern you're going to use here as far as guidance goes we're going to go a plus heading so We've selected a direction. It's going to tell us that we haven't moved, uh, but we put in 360. We have a guidance line there, and then we can go down and we can hit our master spray switch. The last thing that happens is we get a warning that comes up on the UT. We touch it and it comes up and it says, hey, you have to accept the liability if the sprayer drives into something because it's on auto steer. You hit the check mark hit the return and you're now ready to go spraying. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching.